Here are all the comic book series debuting in stores for the week of October 7th, 2015. This is the biggest week of the year in comic book stores. We're going to feature 39 new series and key issues that are all in stores as of today, including... Look at this one. We've got Project Nemesis. This is the latest from American Gothic Press. This is a new miniseries. Jughead. After the success of Archie number one, we've got Jughead number one has been relaunched with a new ongoing series. A bunch of variant covers. Legend of Oz. Wicked West. New miniseries. Branching off from this series from Aspen. Black Mask. A lot of buzz for this series. Number one has almost hit $100. And number four first print is finally out today. Bigger print run, but will probably sell out. Black Mask gives us Transference. Number one. This is the second printing. It is sold out in advance of release. Boom Studios gives us Rowan's Ruin. This book has a lot of buzz and a lot of variant covers. Over at Chapter House Publishing over in Canada, they give us Captain Canuck, the new ongoing series. This has been selling out every issue. And this is the rare Fiona Staples variant of number four. This is going to be a hard one to find. Deep Space Tragedy has two different covers. These are both sold out in advance of release. This is probably the smallest print run book of the week as it comes from the small publisher Cosmic Times. Dead Vengeance is a new series over at Dark Horse Comics, written by Bill Morrison, who also did the art. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, has a new series called Frozen Omen over at Dark Horse. DC has a big week with Batman and Robin Eternal, new series debuting. They also give us the Sandman Overture, the final issue, and this is the final combo pack cover variant that DC is publishing. This one's been delayed for months. That is why it's the last one coming out just now from writer Neil Gaiman. And DC debuts a new series, Survivor's Club, written by Lauren Bukes. And Telos, the big villain from Convergence earlier this year, gets his own ongoing series. Public Relations number one came out late but sold out in advance of release, as does number two. This series is a tough one to find everywhere. Grumpy Cat is a fun one. There is 24 different variant covers from all the stores, including ours. We even did one for Grumpy Cat number one. This is a new mini series. Check ours out. It's got a Neil Adams homage cover. Very cool. Train Called Love from Dynamite, written by Garth Ennis of Preacher. And this one's got a lot of buzz. Mini series. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The big wind-up in issue number 50 happens, and this is the one in 10 Jack Kirby variant cover. Lots of buzz for this one. Accend is a new series from Shane Davis at Image Comics. And Image also gives us Codename Babushka. As well as Brian K. Vaughan, his new ongoing series Paper Girls. He's the writer of Saga. Lots of buzz for this book. Big print run. Saints also debuts from Image from writer Sean Lewis. And Marvel's got their big comeback. They are relaunching their entire universe starting with this week. All their titles are being relaunched with new number ones and a whole onslaught of variant covers for each one, including this one. All new, all different point one. Number one has four covers and it features the first appearance of Daredevil's new partner. Amazing Spider-Man has been relaunched. There's about 10 covers for this one, including the first hip-hop variant cover. And there's a bunch of them out this week. And these are very popular. Many retailers did not qualify to get them. So these are already selling um, in pre-sale online anywhere from $7 to $15 an issue, depending on which one it is. Avengers number zero is the kickoff to the new Avengers line and this is a hefty cover price one and features all the teams in one book. Contest of Champions has been relaunched as a new ongoing series. There is a very cool maestro action figure variant and there's a lot of action figure variants this week as well. Doctor Strange gets his first series in years. A lot of buzz for this because he's getting his own movie for the first time coming out next year. So this is probably going to be very popular as a back issue for a long time. This is the hip hop variant. And there's of course a very cool action figure variant as well. Amongst the other ones. There's also a new series of Jack Kirby monster variants that starts this week as well. Those could potentially be popular. Invincible Iron Man is the new Iron Man series. And here's the action figure variant. It's going to be popular. And there is a very cool 50 cent hip hop variant cover. And many stores are already sold out of these. Marvel Superhero Spectacular number one, I believe, is a one shot. This is going to be uh, 
kind of skipped by many because there's so many other books to buy this week. So this could be potentially a big book because it's got all the big characters all in one. Marvel Universe Guardians of Galaxy is a new All Ages uh, version comic, and this will have a smaller print run. It will also sell out. Secret Wars is finally back with number six. The series has been delayed. There is a cool action figure variant for Daredevil. And Star Wars has an action figure variant for Jawa. So you can see that the action figure variant market is definitely in full gear here at Marvel. What If gives us a, an Inhumans issue one shot this week, as well as this Infinity Thanos number one. Titan Comics relaunches Doctor Who the 11th Doctor with a year two series. And this one even features the War Doctor in it. Heroes, the TV show, is back, and there is a new comic series to cash in on that, Heroes Vengeance, over at Titan Comics. Kung Fu Panda also debuts over at Titan. And Marvel also gives us Contest of Champions. Here's the hip-hop cover for that one. So check out our exclusive variants that we've released, because there's some really good ones. <laughs> 